Hey Scoot, hmm. do you like that adaptation of a series of really popular fantasy novels? You know, the one where Sean Bean dies at the end of the first one? Oh yeah! I love Lord Game of, of the Thrones! Huh? What? Fantasy novels have been very uh, appealing lately. Yeah. Uh, they've been turned into movies and TV shows. Lord of the Rings, of course, and uh, Game lately of Thrones Game of Thrones well. is hugely popular. Yep. Sean Bean happened to be in both... Uh, the immortal Sean Bean. The, well, the immortal, very well, immortal. Very immortal. Because he seems to die in every movie Pretty he's much. In. Um, he's, he's had a few figures made for him uh, for, for the Lord of the Rings that, and, and also for Game of Thrones now yeah. um, it's, it's fascinating to see the way that the same actor can be portrayed in different toy lines ah, so that's what we're going to have a look at today right is, yep. is Sean Bean in particular yep. uh, to see him as two different toys from two different very loved uh, exactly. genres of, yep. of, uh, yeah. so, so first up we've got Sean Bean as he appears in Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring mm -hmm. as Boromir so this was done by Toy Biz, it was done in about 2000, 2001. Okay, yep. This one is sort of on an interesting cusp in terms of toy history where they were sort of transitioning away from having action features and going more for the much more detailed realistic sculpts. So this one has a lot of interesting sculpting in it, but he still has an action feature. At the back he's got a little red button. A big red button. And if you take off, press the button, then he has a little bit of a conniption here. <laughs> And it's that sort of 80s, <laughs> I'm throwing a tantrum sort of look to him. The idea is that you're supposed to have a sword in his one hand and the shield in the other, and he's yeah, just battling. So. Otherwise, it's one of those toys that, you know, yeah. has the malfunctions in its exactly. all body, yeah. Um But, you know, that's it's interesting that they still had this at this stage, uh, in this sort of scale, which is not something you normally see in the 6 inch scale figures. They were much more about the sculpt and the articulation mm -hmm. rather than action features. Oh, cool. The other question I have is, did they scan his face for this uh, I'm design. not entirely certain. I believe that they did do some scans. Because it's, very, it's quite accurate some. to him, isn't it's, it? It's surprisingly very, very good in terms of a, uh, a portrait. And he's got the little horn of uh, it's Gondor. Got the, the horn of Gondor. Um, that's got a nice action feature of its own, actually, in that it does split open. Oh, really? If I can... Oh, no, no. No, sorry. No, this one doesn't split over. But oh, it I'm does. Looking. What it does do is it actually makes the real sound of Gondor, the sound mm. of, of the horn. Go, go, so yeah, listen. Go, yeah. Awesome. Wow. That is amazing. I don't, I don't know how they did that, but that I is amazing I, technology. I don't know. But it's, it's fantastic. Very cool. Um, but yeah, he, he comes with a, a sword mm -hmm. in his scabbard there, so you can pop it into his hand. And it's a pretty cool Boromir, quite frankly. It is. You can play with him and have him die. Again over and, and over and again, again. again, just like Sean Bean. Fuck! Fucking hell! You got another figure here. I do. And this is Sean Bean again. Yeah. Uh, this time from Game of Thrones. I'll take yep. this one. Okay. So he was in the uh, Game of Thrones season one. Season one. Uh, we don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it, but he <gasps> may but or may not have. It's Sean Bean. Um, so yeah, here's Strawn as Ned Stark from Series 1. Mm -hmm. um, this is from the Game of Thrones Legacy Collection by Funko. Um, it's a very newly released line. He's wearing his Hand of the King outfit mm -hmm. uh, that he wore a lot of the time in, uh, in King's Landing. Yep. Um, and it's quite cool. He comes with a nice big broadsword. Wow. Is this the sword they melted down? I believe it is. And made two I swords believe. out of I believe. I don't know the name of this particular sword because I know the Valyrian steel swords Valyrian actually have steel. names. Yep. Um, but it's a, it's a big ass one, and you see, you know, this is the one that he's holding in all those promo shots when he's sitting on the Iron Throne. The head scan, I don't believe, is quite so well done. Let's now, put these side by side. I, I tend to think that the Lord of the Rings one looks more Sean Beanie. You're no damn use to anybody. Well, that's true. It's, I think it's you're close, right. But I think that the winner is still Toy Biz. They probably didn't get to scan him if they did. Well, possibly not. For this one. I, I, I know, know that know the, what the process was. The design for this was done by Gentle Giant Studios, who do a lot of the scanning oh. of people. So whether they've actually used a scan to make this one or not, I don't know. Oh, um, did that just happen? You know, it's it's still very impressive, and certainly, you know, you're not in any question as to who the character is. It's mm. obviously Ned Stark. The head sculpt is is fine. But I just think that the edge is slightly for the um, uh, the Lord of the Rings one myself. So very cool to see 
the Sean Bean toy from Lord of the Rings yep. uh, from 2001, and then a newer one, same Game actor, of Thrones version, Game of Thrones, 2014. From, yeah, more than 10 years later, and he both still, of them, he still looks great. They look, you know? He does look great. He He's, has been immortalized in plastic because <laughs> he's not immortalized any other he's way. He's aged very well. And uh, yes, he does die on screen a lot. I know that's. But that's, we that's love a him shame. for it. We do we love him love for Love watching it. you die on screen. In fact, I, I heard a rumor that in the next Star Trek movie, he might be playing one of the red shirts. Yeah, I so. thought they were going to cast him as Jesus and Passion of the Christ, but they didn't want to give away the ending. Hmm. Anyway. Wise. Mm. Wise. Anyway, that's it from us. We'll see you guys next time on OSD. Don't yep. forget to comment, subscribe, thumbs up, like, like of course, share, Scott, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.